So am I, am I reading this right? Sam and Franco are both O positive? Yeah. Right, and, and the baby is, is AB negative? Yeah, that's what the form says, but just, there's gotta be a mistake. What if it isn't? What do you mean? What if, what if somehow Sam's little boy got switched with another child? Are you really thinking that baby wasn't Sam's? Elizabeth, all I know is when I put him in Sam's arms, she swore to me that it was a different baby. I found him exactly where Sam said, out on the porch in the planter box, but she was sure it wasn't her baby. Jason, she was in denial. I, I know that, and I explained all that to Sam. But the blood types don't match. So maybe, maybe she was right. Maybe it wasn't her baby. Two O-positive parents cannot have a baby that's AB negative. So so maybe it wasn't Sam's baby I found that night. Which would mean what? The Sam's baby's still alive? I mean, it's possible. We do our best, but hospitals make mistakes. Okay, then, but why, why didn't Dr. Lee catch it then? She, she went over the chart with Sam. It's possible she wasn't even looking at the blood type because it wasn't relevant at that moment. She told Sam the baby had hemophilia. How could the blood type not be relevant? Jason, listen to me. It would be wonderful to think that this was all some big mistake and that Sam's baby is still alive. But don't get your hopes up over this. It's probably nothing. Baby in a planter box, right? And that's where you found him. There's just too many discrepancies. The blood type, hemophilia, why didn't it show up on the prenatal scans? And, and, and what about the lungs? He seemed fine when he was born. You weren't there when he was born. You, you, you don't know how he was breathing. Obviously, Sam felt there was something wrong. That's why she went to go I get for understand. help, right? Yes, I understand that. But Sam and McBain both said when the baby was first born, he was strong and healthy and breathing normally and crying out loudly. How can you do that if your lungs aren't developed? You're jumping to conclusions. Something does not add up. Sam was careful with prenatal care. She had screenings and ultrasounds, and everyone showed that the baby was healthy, just like the baby she had in the motel, not a baby whose lungs did not develop. So what's your explanation? I don't... I don't have one. No. But I know there is a time that I cannot account for. When Sam was passed out in the garden shed on the floor, Something could have happened. Like someone with a dead infant was wandering around and found Sam's and switched the babies? Come on, Jason, what are the odds of that? I odds, Elizabeth, but based on this file, it's possible that the baby that I put in Sam's arms that night was not her baby. I am so sorry to say this, but Jason, I think you're in denial. Records are inconsistent. So how, how do I make sure the child Sam buried is really her son. You need to have a second autopsy done. And she would need Sam's permission to exhume the body. And that's a lot to put her through. Especially for nothing. Jason, I'm telling you, all you found was an heir in those records. There's no chance Sam's baby is still alive. And to reopen that hope and put her through that loss a second time. Do you really want to hurt Sam that way? What way? I was just, uh, just talking about the baby. I just, I, I wanted to let you know that I got a little carried away imagining what life might have been. It's okay, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing I know, wrong it's just, that. it's easy to let myself go there, Jason. To imagine us happy as a family. But I know that it's real and my son is gone and as it turns out, he could have never lived at all. Sam. I... Jason, I just, I hope that it gives you some peace knowing the truth after everything that I did to you. I was, uh, I was wrong. And I would do anything to fix it. I know you can. And it's not your fault. Um, I know Steve wanted to release me and I don't want to keep on waiting. I just, uh, I'm gonna go. Jason, you really need to sit down. I know, I know that I could be wrong about the baby, but I still gotta find out. What Sam said about the fantasy and what the baby's life would have been like. Yeah, it just helps her with the grief, that's all. Maybe that's why you're asking if the baby could still be alive. 
You're using the, the air in the medical chart. But however, I got the idea. I still need to find out the truth. Hey. They released me. I just, um, I wanted to say goodbye. Wait, where are you going? My mother's. How, how are your sisters? Oh, um, Christine's fine. She was out of town, so she wasn't affected. But Molly, it's just not fair, Jason. I mean, why couldn't Jerry spare it's, the it's, kids? It's, it's not just... over. It's not over. Still a chance they can find the cure, but it, it's good that you're going to be with her. What are you going to do? I'm just going to wait, you know, for surgery and eventually they'll for take... For what, Jason? What if there's no time? You mean, what if we're dying? You stopped oh, crying. see that my baby didn't die because I left him alone on the porch. I'll always be with you. No, and maybe I'll get to see him soon. Stop, shoot. stop. Don't, don't think about dying. Well, if it does happen, Jason, I just, I want you to know that I'm going to be thinking about you. And the time that we spent together was amazing. And if this, this were to happen then, if, if we were dying when we were together, I want you to know that I would, I would die happy. Except that we're dying. Now I'm gonna find out what happened to Sam's baby. <laughs> 